floating, all alone in the cosmos, the only intelligent life in the universe, or is someone else out there? Either UFOs represent some genuinely anomalous, extraordinary scientific phenomena, which could enhance our science and our technology, or if not, then all they are are the greatest the popular delusion of this century. Either way, I think they'd merit attention. James Oberg has conducted his own studies of all the NASA pictures taken by the explorers we've sent to search the heavens. Despite the rumors, so far, he's seen no UFOs. Maybe he's looking in the wrong place. We went to Fife, Alabama, population 1,200. Since February 10th, Many of the locals believe UFOs have come here to watch us. As soon as we parked our car, we could see the object on the horizon between the two tallest trees. The object would move slowly toward the left, from the left toward the right on the horizon. Our, we never took our eyes off of the object. The object just disappeared. Susan Stockman, reporter for the Rainsville Weekly Post, was in Fife last week with a photographer, hoping to get a picture of the UFO she and the neighbors had been seeing. These are the photographs that uh, Terry took Thursday night. You can see the movement of the object across the, uh, on the horizon above the trees, and you can see where it uh, went at an altitude just before it disappeared from our sight. Stockman's positive that wasn't an airplane, but a spaceship? She can't say. Others who are sure didn't have a camera, but their descriptions are selling t-shirts and drawing crowds from several states doubling FICE population every Friday night. UFO skeptics are not impressed. They say all sightings can be explained logically. More than, than one out of every four UFO reports turns out to be a bright celestial body. Uh, in some cases, the uh, trigger mechanism may be a re-entering satellite or space debris. In some cases, it's a meteor fireball. After 40 years of UFO reports, there is not a single physical evidence, bit of physical evidence. Philip Class believes if they were really out there, they'd land on the White House lawn and say, take me to your leader, or I am your leader. More sympathetic investigators say UFOs are not that blatant, but the evidence of their existence is there, if you know where to look. Our search for space aliens has brought us here to Gulf Breeze, Florida, where the bayous and the moss hanging from the trees creates a look that you might suspect would be inviting to beings from another planet. And it was here, in 1987, that a local builder named Ed first began seeing what he thought were spaceships. He couldn't be sure, so he took pictures of them. Ed's pictures prompted a rash of corroborating stories. To date, the paper has been told of 78 sightings by 135 different people, including the publisher's own parents. And they said, that's what we saw. So with that corroboration, um, I lost, uh, for all practical purposes, lost all fear of going ahead and printing it. Because uh, if you can't trust your mother, who can you trust? There is not, to my knowledge, a single photograph of a craft-like object that can stand up to rigorous scrutiny. If Ed's pictures are fakes, how did others in Gulf Breeze take these photos of a similar UFO? And how do you explain the unrelated eyewitnesses? It was a saucer-shaped big object with a, a white light shining beneath it and had uh, portals around it. It was a very clear night, and we could see it very clearly. Yeah. Shh, listen. UFOs, unidentified, yes, but for millions who've seen them, something real exists out there, and their stories are hard to ignore.